Here at the National Science Research Laboratories, we've been studying the disco phenomena for some time. What is it? What is the mysterious attraction? Is it the fusing of love and dance? We know that it has something to do with the fabled disco sea level. We have our own theories regarding this phenomena. We call it the disco pool theory. Say, hey, isn't that thing still on the drawing board? Yes, it is. That's why we call it a theory. In the disco pool theory, the pool is seen as a hot, steamy soup of disco fluid, the composition of which would be very close to the salt sweat that pours off the brow of any serious disco dancer. We theorize that the disco soup contains the basic building blocks of the disco phenomena, known as the three B's, burns, bell bottoms, and bulges. Well, what about the platform shoes, the chest hair? What about the collars, the medallions, the whatever? These are important and characteristic traits to the disco phenomena. But they are more complex, and when their secrets are unlocked with the electron microscope, like this one to my right, we discover that they are in fact long chains of the three Bs. Didn't you guys do some experiment and actually synthesize the disco soup? Well, in a way, we were able to synthesize the three Bs. But mind you, they were not alive. Therefore, they did not replicate and form the long chains necessary for life. The disco pool theory explains many things. But as with any good theory, it raises more questions than it answers. For instance, every pool has a drain. Therefore, we reason that the disco pool must also have a drain. What is behind the disco drain? When does it open? What is its function? Ah, don't give me any of that malarkey. I've been in this back storeroom long enough to know what a drain is for. A drain releases a small amount of fluid into a larger body of fluid. You know, like when you flush a toilet. Or perhaps, perhaps it's like when a baby is born. When the sperm reaches the egg and the conditions are just right, and then replication begins, forming the life, yeah until God gives the signal for that baby to come out. Wouldn't you say it works something like that? Yes, it could be. Perhaps the disco drain opens after enough of the basic building blocks have churned up the disco soup. If this is the case, then the disco soup would flow down the disco drain into a larger body, which, well, I guess you could call the Disco Sea. Then the Disco Sea level would be an accurate gauge of the activity of the Disco Pool. During periods of high activity, the Disco Sea would rise. Yes, the tide would be high. But this would contradict Jay Lydon's theory that behind the Disco Drain there are Scary monsters! Ooh! But what kind of god controls the disco drain? And why, since the beginning of this research in 1985, have we been unable to detect the presence of a disco sea level? God, I'd love an egg cream. 